I used to remember people telling me about mothers sending their sons for national service. Used to be crying, you know, and uh, you know, holding the son, wiping the face, and you know, tapping the son. So my son did not want that to happen to him. They were lined up and brought in a truck, and then the truck threw them away, and the parents would be waving at them, crying, and so on. My name is Winston Chu. My connection to this building was when I was the CGF of the SAF. Old term means to me, actually, it means the start of my career as the chief of the Singapore Armed Forces. This building had always been seen as the top of the military establishment in Singapore. It was painted white. In Washington, the White House is where the president lives. Here, the White House is where the George lives. The George is Joe King C in those days. <laughs> We had one room here where uh, we have all our meetings. It was a conference room. And the thing I used to remember about that room, it was just one table and about 15 or 20 of us sitting around that table. And those, those days, we were allowed to smoke. And I tell you, if you open the door to the room, you can see the smoke coming out. The minister used to steal my cigarette. Once in a while, he would reach out to me and say, Winston, let me have a fight. I had very, very fond memories of this building. It was old, it was, you know, iconic, and it was special. Though I, I knew that it was, in fact, the bedrooms of the British senior officers, and because it was an officer's mess, and yet when we, we managed to turn it into a the Ministry of Defence, where important defence matters were handled in this building. So it was important to me. We had a big send-off ceremony, so to speak, farewell ceremony here. Uh, it was held outside, you know, in front of Tom. Uh, it was a very momentous day, actually, the move itself. Dr. Zhu himself did not show too much emotion, but I think he felt it. So the two important arms of security and survival ended up in this building. So, I mean, then when we were going out, we did not know that MFA was going to move here already. But now, looking back at it, it's very symbolic because uh, defense and diplomacy go hand in hand, you know, because you really want to have diplomacy for your survival, for your security. But diplomacy cannot work without a good defence. So this thing goes hand in hand.